Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install EUP server-sided into your guys' 5M server for free with no Patreon subscription. I'm doing a little updated video on this, which is part of my 2024 creating a 5M server series. If you guys haven't already watched the first couple of episodes in that, then be sure to check that out to set up your dream 5M server. What you guys are going to want to do in this video is hit the first link down in the description below. That ring goes right here to the forum.cfx.re page for the EUP uniforms. When you scroll on down right here, what you guys are going to do is hit the mega links for both of these, download the EUP menu, and then the EUP server-sided uniform. So just hit the link, it's going to take you to the mega page, download it, and then do the same also for this one right here. But once you guys have done that, open them both on up like so. And then just keep them in the background as we're going to go back to installing these in a moment. And then once you guys have done that, hit the next link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the native UI. And all you guys are going to do is click this little one right here, source code.zip. And that's going to download native UI, which is a dependency for our EUP menu in order for it to actually work. And a lot of people skip this step and it's very, very important. Otherwise, your EP will not actually work. Since you guys have done that, we're going to minimize to our desktop. And then we're going to find our 5M server. So mine's right here on my desktop, IT server. Same server folder I've been using for this whole creating a 5M server series. Then we're going to navigate to the TX data folder, CFX default, and then resources. In here, we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to do brackets. EUP and then closing brackets, open that folder on up. And this is where we're going to install all of our EUP mods that we just downloaded. So to start with, we're going to choose the EUP SUP zip. So open that on up, open the EUP SUP folder. And then you guys are going to see the EUP stream folder. So very, very simply grab this and drag and drop it into this EUP folder we just made in our server resources. Once that has finished copying across, we can close that. We're going to open up the EUP menu zip and we're going to do pretty much the exact same steps to open the EUP menu folder and we're going to drag and drop this EUP UI folder into the same place, our EUP folder. And the final steps is going to be installing the native UI. So open that download on up as well. Open the native UI and then we're going to grab this folder right here, native UI, and drag and drop that into the EUP folder as well. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything. So check that out down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1. And now we've done that, all you guys need to do is we can close all these downloads, go back to our resources folder. I'm gonna copy the name of this EUP folder we just made. So rename that and then just copy the name. Go back to CFX default, open your server.cfg, scroll on down to the last line you have insured, press enter two times. We're gonna do two hashtags, which is gonna be the basically the category name for the mod we're insuring. And this is going to be EUP. I'm going to type insure and paste in the name of our EUP folder. So everything below this EUP heading will be to do with our EUP mods. And usually you'll only have one or two. From here, go to file and then save. Just so that's all saved. Scroll on up on our server.cfg and find this line right here. SV max clients. Now for you, it's going to be set to 48 like this. And all you guys are going to, want to do is delete the 48 part and put 10. 10 will limit our server slots to 10 players. But unfortunately, that is what we need to do in order to run our server with EUP for free, as it will let us run basically the early access beta mode. Once you guys have done that, we can now file, save our server.cfg, and this time we can now close it. And just like that, we are done with our server settings. So we can now start our 5M server on up. And as that is starting on up, we're going to launch our 5M, open our 5M on up. And then from here, all you guys are going to want to do 
is we're going to go to the settings icon right here. We're going to go to game. And then we're going to select under the update channel, the latest version. And then it's in brackets, unstable. But trust me, it's really, really not unstable. It's probably about the same stability wise as the release. I've not experienced any issues with that. Select the latest unstable version. It's going to ask you to restart 5M. And then once 5M has restarted, we're going to connect to our 5M server and EUP should be working with no issues at all. And once you guys have spawned in to your 5M server, all you guys need to do is do T and then slash EUP. Just knock your mouse to stop it from spinning. And then here is our EUP successfully installed. If we want BCSO outfits, we'll just press enter on BCSO. Choose the outfit we want, BCSO jacket, and there you guys go. EUP is working with no issues. There's no mismatched outfits and everything is working fine. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and be sure to stay tuned for the latest episode in my creating a 5M Server 2024 series since I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys how to set up your dream 5M Server. So it's definitely something to stay tuned for as well. Also be sure to check out my website hgnetwork.1 down in the description below if you guys are looking to create a 5M Server really, really quickly. That's already all set up for you with over 120 plus mods. It's a great way to do it. It's auto install and it's very, very easy. So be sure to check that out if you guys are interested in creating your 5M server a little bit quicker. Other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.